Hello everybody, my name is Kayan. Uh, I joined Fiji in class 6 because I was sitting simply at home during Sundays. And then uh, when I actually went there, I met a lot of smart people and then I understood that they are better than me and I didn't know like many terms scientifically or even logically but I overcame that. I fought through the competition present in the classrooms and it boosted my confidence actually. So then when I moved to 7th and 8th for the two year Odia program, the same set of people came but I was managing to keep myself in the top 10 or top 5 actually and it boosted my confidence really. And then when I moved to 9th standard for the integrated program, they suddenly introduced social science which uh, I didn't like actually. But I thought social science would be easy because since it's for the state board portions, uh, each chapter is only like two pages. So it didn't matter much, but I didn't read it regularly, but you should read regularly, otherwise it wouldn't help you. So managing time is important. And then uh, for NTSC specifically, I, my strong point was mental ability. I was doing well in mental ability, so I thought even if I do bad in social science, I can manage. And then luckily I managed to clear the cutoff by some 2 marks in excess. So that's how my so NTSC stage 1 went. Stage 2 was comparatively easier because the social science came back to being a CBSC. And coming to 11th standard, the first major exam we took was KVPY. We thought it will be in October, but then it was kept on getting postponed. I thought I'll reach biology later, 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 later. Then the exam came and actually did very bad in biology. And the overall I did well because of physics, which helped me a lot during KVPY. And Max also I did comparatively well and this gave me a rank of 215 KVPY. But biology is important, so everybody don't skip it, I say. And then uh, we after the KVPY, we, we mainly concentrated only on JE. We had like the chap test every week or two or three chap test uh, which focuses on one chapter actually. And then we have the phase test which consists of two exams, the phase exam has phase exam has, uh, the CMAT which is for the JE mains and the phase exams are advanced level. And uh, those were doing like pretty average, my performance was pretty average. I didn't mind actually because I thought uh, these are just sub, uh, each bulk of chapters. I thought I'll do well in the like cumulative of all the chapters and that it just went on like that. And then when Olympiads came, I thought I'll do well in physics olympiad i didn't concentrate much i just gave the exam and i did well actually because physics was my strong point and i will tell you to just focus on your strong points more than the weak points just be sure that you don't do very badly in the weak points just uh, make your strong points very strong so that nobody is able to beat you in those aspects so that even if you do bad in your weak areas you overcome those hurdles using your strong points and then uh, after that, uh, stage 2 Olympiads, uh, uh, I asked my fa faculty whether I should concentrate on them. They said no because it was during the time of JE mains actually. So I didn't concentrate on them much and then I concentrated on my mains which uh, actually helped me to do well in mains. Mains uh, specifically reading NCRT is important for chem alone. If you do well in chem mains, you are thorough with the NCRT basically which helps you in advanced also. So then uh, I basically mugged up the whole chem book which actually helped me in my advance and then uh, after ad mains one went up mains two i didn't concentrate much i just went through the topics once again and it was like in there it stayed in my memory so after that mains gone mains two i, I actually did better than the mains one uh, unexpectedly uh, then we had uh, practice for the j advanced topics we had like each chapter once again which helped me to revise the week ones week topics in the chapter and that boosted my confidence because like last time i did bad in this chapter now i'm doing well in it so it helped me a lot and then we had like the cumulative exams cumulative exams uh, i mean when we understand that even if you do well in one subject it's not sufficient you have to do well like at least average in other two if you do well in two and do uh, two subjects and do bad in one, that is also not good actually. You need to do at least average 
performance and then uh, it made me realize where i made mistakes i used to do a lot of silly mistakes which costed me a lot and uh, demoralized me and uh, i had to overcome those but i wasn't able to and then i understood that like uh, speed doesn't matter when you don't have accuracy so then i started improving my accuracy like uh, there's a guy in our batch uh, who did well in advance because he attempted for 280 and is getting for 274 that's the kind of accuracy you want it's not like if you attempt for 320 and you get some 250 ranges that's not good actually accuracy is better than speed i guess and then coming back to the uh, test they kept it was actually either very easy or very difficult not in the moderate level which is moderators where the advance actually gives so the difficult ones had very uh, nice set of questions which helped me like boost my uh, knowledge about those kind of questions because uh, in olympiad there was an actual question which later came in a test if i had uh, written that test first and gone to that olympiad i would probably clear that olympiad and then coming to j advance on the day i was calm because i knew that even if i panic, panic it don't matter when i sit for the exam then my full focus is on the exam rather of uh, instead of panicking so it didn't matter for me it's usually that way even if i panic before the exam during the exam i don't panic like during the exam i felt a little uh, pretty confident because the ads test which the fiji guys kept uh, was uh, actually usually more difficult than the j advance so when i wrote the actual j advance it felt easier on the comparative scale and which boosted my confidence coming to practice previous year papers are really important for mains i actually didn't practice the previous year papers and i did very bad in mains one compared to mains two where when i actually practice the previous year papers advance i practiced the previous year papers but the most of them were very easy compared to the aats actually i said previously so aats you should do well aats is like really important if you want to do well in advance also uh, faculties are really helpful like during for my chemi especially chemistry faculty boosted my confidence like triple fold like i used to be very weak in organic i told sir uh, that this topic i'm very bad i am not able to concentrate on it sir was like uh, you should do well at like you should do like, as i said averagely at least in it they help to point out your mistakes and tell where you can improve this is actually helpful for me and many others also like as sir you should tell like you should concentrate on this topic on that topic instead of concentrating on the stronger one sometimes and uh, it actually helped a lot like we used to have one to one sessions like almost every week or every three to four days so uh, they used to keep one to one sessions like after like a few bunch of exams so that you can realize your mistakes in those bunch of exams and they helped that during analysis of those exams also Analysis of exams is like really important because even if you write the exam and get a good score you and you do, you lose the marks where you don't know like these type of questions so when you practice the left out questions you get the knowledge from those kind of questions actually it's not important that you know you do what you already know you should learn something new from the test they keep you should learn from the, your mistakes actually because those are the questions you don't know and the, that might come in the actual J advanced you can't leave those questions simply without doing analysis. Actually, my peer group, uh, when I changed schools from 10th to 11th, uh, my 11th standard peer group was far better than my 10th standard peer group such that when I came to, I actually was like in the top 5 in my 10th standard peer group. When I came to uh, the new peer group, I was way back. It was like way, way, way back. I couldn't uh, manage actually. So, when you find new peer groups, you, you strive to push yourself because you don't want to be left behind you want to be with them so that's the type of competition you actually want our peer groups are actually useful during discussions also like immediately after the exam whichever question i don't get i go ask them whether they got it if they got it they'll tell me their method and if i did with using another method they'll tell me two more methods so you know like which method is the efficient one that way i can save time so discussing with peer groups is also useful my parents who helped me a lot during the preparation it was mostly my mother who motivated me like got me through tough times like when i do bad also she scolds me when i do well also she scolds me you have to be like the best it's not like you do bad or better you should be the best one out there so that actually helped me to push myself 
so parents play an important role during the your journey i would like to thank my faculties my friends my course coordinator my parents and i would hope that this motivates others also